Welcome back to our tutorial series for multiplayer GTA like mobile game. And in today's episode we will add a city or an environment. And I'm not an environment artist so we will have a look at the asset store and see what out, what's out there and what we can use for our game. As you can see here there are some pretty nice asset packs out there. For example this city is completely free in the asset store. Um, I can put you the link down in the description if you want to have something like this. Um, the problem is I'm making a tutorial for a mobile game and I think this is way too complex for a mobile game. The package alone has around 480 megabytes of data and this is just one block copied four times. If you just look for NYC city block you will see some uh, assets. One is free and the others you have to pay for. Um, I can recommend these to you, but we will have a look at other packages. One pro tip from my side, if you want to get rid of one downloaded package, you just choose the package you've downloaded, press delete and delete it. And then you have deleted it from your project. It's not actually deleted from your hard disk because there is a folder in C users username app data roaming unity where all your asset store downloads are saved. So when you're starting a new project and just download the same asset uh, pack, then Unity is using this folder as a cache to just import it directly without downloading. But if you want to free up your space, you can just have a look at uh, the folder asset store 5x and then you have all the authors you see here and then you choose your author and here you see 3D models, environments, urban, and here is a Unity package for this block. And as you can see, it's 438 megabyte. And if I want to uh, have the space on my hard disk, I can just delete the folder. Now here's the thing with the asset store. Uh, many beginners are afraid of the asset store because they have to actually learn what's in the package. But sometimes it's really easy. So you have uh, here is some filter where you can say what you really want to have and if you're looking for example for music it's very simple there's only music in the package um, it's getting more complex when you go to tools uh, especially for ai networking and so on or scripts uh, then it can get uh, pretty heavy but if you're just looking for environments, for example, or props uh, or 3D assets in general, you can just filter for 3D assets. I want to have a city, for example. Um, and then you have some additional filters. So we set the price to zero because this is only for a tutorial purpose. I would recommend you to spend some money if you want to really actually make a game and make it great. So I am focusing on a mobile game, so I have to look for low poly um, models. The real problem is if you're looking for low poly, uh, from my perspective there are two kinds of low poly. The one is um, really the thing that you are looking for, it's just low polygons but still high quality assets. And there is this other style of low poly where it's really stylized. You can always uh, have a look at the package content or the megabyte size. This is always a hint uh, if this is suitable for a mobile device or not. Um, for example, I go for the stylist and modular city pack. Um, it's a little bit photorealistic, a little bit low poly. I don't like it, but uh, I think it's well enough for our game and it's only 30 megabyte. So I just imported this uh, and I have my main scene open right now, so I got a lot of problems here. But there are some nice corners, for example here under the light, there is this nice bench and some trees and so everything is looking fine. But as soon as I turn around, there's so much empty space. There, the streets are wide, which is okay. I could uh, do the streets by my own, but in general, I don't think I can do much with it. I think I go for white city and low poly street pack. Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, okay. This is really big or maybe even too big. Maybe I have to scale everything down I import by 0 0.5. So that it makes more sense. Yeah, this makes a little bit more sense to me. Okay, let's build it. I 
I put everything under one folder called environment and make sure that all these are marked as static. Yes. So this will calculate the light. Um, so it will look dark, but now it's recalculating the light, saving the data and do not calculate it during one time again. So it looks prettier and you, uh, your game runs faster. Yeah, the m most important thing now is to bring it on the phone to see if it actually runs there and that the frame rate is okay. Here we go, it looks pretty nice on my device, even though my device is a little bit older, but uh, it's still playable. So, I put you all the asset store links into the description, as well as a link to the GitHub repository. You can download the complete project and try it on your own, mess a little bit around with the project and uh, see what I've done. And if you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel because I will upload nearly every week and we will uh, continue with this mobile uh, GTA Online tutorial. And the next steps will be the actually, uh, actual networking. So stay tuned.